Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Jeff from What Hero, and today I'm gonna use the editor mode in What Hero to generate a thousand word article. So let's see how we do that. So the editor mode can be accessed by clicking on the editor on the top left corner, and this is what you see. On the left hand side, you see a list of all the available writing tools. In the middle, that's where you type in a document, and on the right, there, there's a word count, and then some buttons here for um, creating a new document, uh, opening a document, saving, deleting. Okay, so now what I'm going to write today. Um, I'm going to write something on pest control. So I, I have a pest control blog and I'm going to write something on it. So uh, let me see what are the tools that I, I usually use for a blog article. So I just type on blog here in the search box and then there are a few tools that display. So I usually use uh, blog intros. This is probably the most common tool they're going to use. Uh, blog outlines, blog topics. I'm, I'm going to describe what these do uh, in a minute. And uh, so I basically, I can just click on the pin icon to pin these tools to the top so that I can find them very easily. Okay. And uh, or, or you can just scroll down. Uh, uh, what are some of the other tools that uh, that may be useful for you? So some of the tools could be exam uh, example provider. If you want to give an example, um, listicles could be useful. Answers could be useful. Uh, expander. FAQ could be useful if you, you if you want to incorporate FAQ inside your article. Okay, so what are these tools that I just pinned? Uh, the first one is block intros. Block intros is where you create a paragraph of an introduction to your article. Uh, it is also used for uh, creating any generic paragraph within your article. Okay, so this is one of the most heavily used tools when you're trying to uh, generate a paragraph of any sort, actually, not just for articles, but for uh, basically uh, anything. And then you have a block outlines. A block outlines basically generates a, or suggests an outline for your article. Uh, block topics. Uh, if you want some suggestions on your the, your article topic, example provider. So if you give a statement, the AI will provide an example for you. Uh, listicles. If you want to generate um, a, a list of things. Query answers, basically you, you, you'll give a, a question and it will uh, provide an answer for you. Sentence expander is uh, you expand on what you just wrote. FAQs, you will generate questions for your FAQ section. Okay, so now with that, let's dive in straight to writing an article. So I don't know what uh, topic I'm going to write on. So I'm going to get it yeah, to help me suggest. And my block is on pest control. Okay. So this is very generic, and uh, I may have a lot of articles in pest control already. So if you want, you can be a little, a little bit more specific, okay? So let's see, um, pest control for for office for offices, okay? So let me see uh, what the AI comes up with in terms of the blog topics. For the most common pests, um, the, the best way to keep bugs out of your office. Okay, so I think I'll just go with this. Okay, so I click on uh, the arrow button here once I hover over the output. So we just copy the output to the right hand side. Uh, I can edit this to what I want. So, how to keep bugs out of your office. Okay, so this is what I'm going to write about. I'm going to put it as the title here. I'm going to close this. So I return to this uh, main screen. And next thing, I want to generate a, a, an outline for my article. So I click on a block outlines. And I'll just paste this in. And I'll get the AI to suggest me, uh, to suggest to me an outline for this article. Okay, so these are mostly useful. So I'm gonna click on the all button here on the 
uh, at the bottom. So I'm going to have to do some editing to to format the article a bit. Common paths in office settings will come first. Why are these paths? So I'm basically trying to um, create an outline for my article, the headers for my articles. Okay, so these are the common paths in the office. Okay. So I think I'm quite happy with that line. Okay, if, if you want to generate more ideas, what you can do is click on the back button here. And then you either uh, click on write for me again to generate uh, more of the same or similar, or you can uh, tweak your input a little bit just to make sure that the AI understands what you're talking about. Okay, for now, I'm, I'm happy with this. So I am just going to generate the introduction for this article. I'll click on block intros. Sorry. And then I just uh, copy this into the input. So it take a, takes a few seconds for the AI to generate the content. So for block intros, it will generate up to three variations. So you can uh, pretty much pick and choose which one uh, is best for you. Okay, so I think I'll copy and paste this. And let me see if I can use this. Okay, I think this is good as well. I'm gonna just edit some words out. Okay, this is a bit of a redundancy, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so um, I think that's not too bad for a draft introduction. Okay, so let's take a look at my next section, which is common paths in office settings. So I'll just copy this over to block intros, and then I'm going to try to generate something out of here. Okay, so this is good. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it here. Let me see if I can use the, the rest as well. I think this is good as well. I'm going to paste it here. So some of these can be used for other sections. Okay, so basically I can delete this. This is a bit redundant, so delete that. This paragraph would be good for why these pass a problem. Okay, so I'm going to just format some of these things. So it's easier to see. Okay, so this is good for the first sentence. I'm going to type in a few filler words.
Okay, I'm going to delete this paragraph. I think it's not needed. Okay, so I have some uh, paragraphs already. Why are these pants the problem in the office environment? This will probably belong here. Just rearranging some of these uh, paragraphs. Okay, so I think as a draft, this is uh, pretty good already. So I'm gonna format this. Common methods of preventing pass in office setting. So this is what I'm gonna generate next. And I'm gonna use the block intros again. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to paste it here. So uh, I can use the second variation as well. I think this is good as well. Let me see if how to rearrange this paragraph. So this probably will belong under here. Keep food items stored in anti containers. Okay, so I'm going to create some headings for these. Uh, this is probably something like uh, keep food in anti-containers. Keep trash can trash bins empty empty up. So this is my second method. The third one would be use natural pass repellents. So let's say I want to expand on this. Uh, what I can do is actually to use the sentence expander. So just type in here. Okay, let's see what the AI comes up with. Okay, so just type in here. Okay, so this is not complete. So I can go back here, paste it here, and then I see what it generates again. So in future, there will, there will actually be an easier way to do this. So you can probably highlight the text within the editor and this, you can just click a button. But for now, uh, it takes a little uh, bit of work and a few more clicks. Clean up spills immediately. Okay, so this is not really relevant. Okay, let's see what else I need. Let me see if I can expand on this.
I'll just paste it here. Okay. So now I have three ways of uh, preventing pass in office setting. Now maybe I'll need more. Now let me go to the listicles uh, writing tool to try to generate more ideas because I have totally no clue about uh, pass control. Common methods of preventing pass in office in the office. Okay. The listicles is a useful tool to generate um, ideas in point form. Use traps to eliminate pass. Okay, this could be something useful. Keep garbage and find items in containers. Establishing a pass management plan. This could be something that might work. So let me see if I can generate more. How to prevent pass in the office. So I'm going to be a little bit more direct. Okay, so here are more things I, I can use. Uh, install screens on Windows. Um, keep your workstation clean, probably this would be good. Okay. Let me try to see if I can generate more points. Keep the office clean. Keep your desk. Limit food and drinks in a desk. This could be something that's good. Okay, let's try to generate more. And then we can choose the better ones. Seal up any cracks. This could be good as well. Okay, now I think we got enough points. So I'm going to write uh, some of these content now. So let's say if I want to write content or write a paragraph for this header, keep keeping your workstation clean. So what do I put in the inputs? I'm going to type something like uh, how to prevent pests. in the office by keeping your workstation clean. So let's wait for the output. In the meantime, I can always use this time to, sorry, to format your article. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so I think this is pretty good. Um, let me see. The next point is limit food and drinks to your desk. So I'm going to use the same trick, how to prevent pests in the office by limiting food and drinks at your desk. So you need to spell out uh, entirely for the AI, otherwise it would know what you're actually writing. If, if you just copy and paste this limit when drinks your desk, it would not know that you're talking about pass control in the office. So, okay, so this is pretty good as well. I'm just going to use this, format this a little bit. Actually, a lot of these are pretty good, but there's too much content I can choose from. I'm just going to break up these uh, paragraphs. Okay, so this is too much content I can use. So I'm just going to stick to a couple of paragraphs. Now let's look at the next section by using trap. So using the same trick again, let's see whether it works again. I'm going to take this time 
to format my article, you, know, you can do it at the same time. Okay, so this can be used as well. The first one. And uh, this can be used as well. Sorry. Um, where am I? Okay. Uh, the traps can eliminate as if you're not the office. Okay. So if you want to ex expand this a little more, you can use the sentence expander. I think uh, I am good for now. Now let's take a look at the next section. By sealing up any cracks. Again, using the same trick. I'm going to use this time to format the article a little bit. Okay, just going through the output. Okay, so I can use this. One effective way of preventing pests in the office. Okay, let me try to expand on this by using the sentence expander. Uh, this is probably what I want later, but not now. Just going to copy this. I am going to generate this again. Uh, not really what I want. Let me generate this again. Okay, so this is okay. I'm going to paste it here. Let me try to complete this again using the AI because it looks like it's not complete. Okay, so this could be belong below under conclusion. Okay, so um, because what you are using so many is GPT-3, there are some restrictions surrounding uh, the number of characters you can input and the number of characters that can be output. So that's why sometimes you see there's some uh, limits. Okay. Um, but uh, we are going to build our own AI uh, very soon, so these limitations uh, will disappear hopefully in the next few months. Let me see uh, what's next. Okay, I'm going to just tidy up the headers a little bit. Maybe change this to engage a professional pest control company. Okay, so I am going to use block intros again. Uh, preventing pests in the office by engaging a pest control company. Let's 
just going through the article, make sure that everything is okay. Okay, so this is good. Um, this one belongs below. Maybe I'll just delete this. I'm just going through the, the output to see what else I can use. Okay, I can use this as well. Okay, I think this is quite redundant, so I'm going to delete this paragraph. And now I'm pretty much done. I'm almost at a thousand words, so we're just left with the conclusion. Let me see if I can conclude. Um, I'm going to use something else here. I'm going to use what we call the bullet point expander. So I type in a few bullet points and the AI will generate uh, proper sentences for me. So let me see what the bullet points are. Pass can be a danger to offices, can be a risk to offices. There are many ways to prevent pass in the office and the best way sorry it's not enough it's not enough so let me see if this is okay um let me see Best way is to call pass control. Oops, there's no output for this. Let me try again. Okay, so um, there are some limitations on the outputs again, but let me see. Further infestations of course there are other ways you can prevent pests okay let me see if uh, I can use a sentence expander for this just to complete the conclusion it's important to keep in mind Okay, I think I'm pretty much done for this article. Uh, you can go through it again to tighten it, but I think it's pretty uh, decent for the amount of time I spent.